Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Wednesday the 6th of April. But first, a quick one, not a quick recap because obviously there are no selections for today, Tuesday. So um, I'll just scroll down. Um, obviously Thursday there'll be the entry, the start of the entry meeting. I shall be giving you selections for that meeting, not for every race like, like I did at Cheltenham. But I will be giving you a lucky 15. Um, and then tomorrow I shall also be giving you some master selections. I'm probably going to pick two or three. I've, I've already picked one out that I fancy anyway. But uh, I'm, I'm probably going to pick two or three. Um, I'm going to advise you to back them each way. Sky bet. I think they're playing 11 places at the moment. Um, that, that, that's not bad really. But it's still quite, it's still quite tough going for, even for the 11 places. Um, I should probably be recommending also having each way doubles with the um, Grand National selections, but I'll talk more about that tomorrow when I get onto it. If you haven't seen the selections for the Grand National, wait till the end of this video where I shall link up the video. It's already, it's had, I think it's nearly a thousand views already. It's proven very popular. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed for Saturday. But anyway, back on to Wednesday, the 6th of April. What I have done. I've decided to lower the stakes. Basically, it's down to £20 a day now. I thought £31 was just a bit too much. So, um, let's get into it. So, selections are based on a 40 pence each way, lucky 15, and £1 each way on each selection. The first selection is Katayusha in the 5 o'clock at Nottingham. Sorry, <laughs> rated 7 out of 10 and... Six to one, five places. Well, it's not got a fantastic form, and this is a shocking race. But what I did notice is an angle is Charlie Fe Charlie Fellows won a race on this card last year, a, a similar race to this, but it was a class five. This race is a class six. It's it's got little bits of form. Um, it started off over a mile, was then dropped to seven, but now it's back up to a mile. So whether I, per personally, I, I can look into that. Maybe they're thinking it needs a mile, but they were getting it ready, giving it a half-decent mark ready for this year. Well, Charlie Fellows are stable. They've been in half-decent form. They had a couple of winners at the beginning of the flat season. Um, Daniel Tudopes on board. Well, Daniel Tudopes' last ride for Charlie Fellows was a winner as well. Five places. All right, six to one's not fantastic, but I think it's I think it's got a decent chance. I would like to, I would like to see it race a bit more prominently than normal than it has been doing because. It does pay odds to, to, to race up with the pace at Nottingham, or very, very slightly off the pace. But anyway, let's go on to the next selection. The next selection is the gloaming in the 1 o'clock at Catterick. A 7 out, seven out of 10 chance, priced at 17 to 2, 5 places. Personally, I backed this horse a few times in the past before I did the, tip, the tipping channel. At its best, this horse is better than this class. Um, it's got an half decent claimer on it. Obviously, um, it's... It's Harry Russell. Well, it is not claiming anything, so it he, he's ridden out the claim in, in this kind of race where it, it can't claim anything. So he's winning a certain amount of winners already. I backed a few of his horses, and I do think he's an half decent jockey. So if he can get just off the pace and pants late, I think it's got a cracking chance. And once again, five places. Yeah, I, I think it's got a cracking chance of five places. The third selection is three castles in the five past two race at Catterick. A six and a half out of ten chance, priced up at seventy two, three places. Well, this horse, it's not been in fantastic. What well, the Racing Post says, it's not been in fan, fantastic form. But I've been looking at its hurdles races, and it was running half decent up to about five runs ago. But recently, it's been up in class, and I think, I think the class it's been running it, it's it's too good for it. So therefore, it's not been running that well. So I think it's been making. It running badly. I think it's been emphasising, like, um, you know what I mean, or over-emphasising running badly. I think it's been running in grades that are too good for it, basically. So, when I looked um, on last season's form, it had been, um, the first time it wore a visor, it won. Well, recently it's been wearing cheek pieces. So, it's back in the visor today. So, maybe this could eke out some either extra improvement or at least some extra focus. This horse will... It'll probably be the first off the bridle, but I do think it will stay on. And soft ground at Catrick is very tough. So 
they will be crying out enough to enough towards the end. So I think this could at least pick up a place. So let's see. Keith Dalglish does like a win around here, and I do like that Callum Rodriguez. It it does ride a lot for the stable, so we'll know all about this horse. And finally, Brush Creek in the 155 at Lingfield, a seven half out of ten chance, priced at 13 to two, four places. This is a Henry Candy horse that looked very progressive last season. All right, it's not a fantastic race, but it was on the up. I seen. I'd like to think it's half fit. I think even half fit, it can come in the first four. I do think it's got a, a, a lenient handicap mark, and I think it can run above its handicap rating so far, or its official rating. Um, yeah, and that's basically it, really. I, I can't see... When I first looked at today's cards, I really didn't fancy this, and that's why the first selection wasn't until the 5 o'clock at Nottingham. I thought, here we go, it could be another no-bet day. But then, once I picked one at Nottingham, it was then Catrick, I, I thought, oh, I fancy those two. And then the Brushed Creek, well, actually caught my eye at the end. So that is actually the nap of the day. I'm hoping that it is, it has got a bit of fitness. Um, anyway, enough waffling from me. Tune in tomorrow for um, the Masters selections. Obviously, you'll still get your, your Aintree selections. Anyway, fingers crossed. Let's get back on track. The very best of luck. Charlie Winters, over and out.